Hello and welcome to the Children's Clay Workshop. Today we're going to be um, learning how to make a clay, magical clay castle, a ceramic castle, and it can either be decorated with a dragon or a unicorn or something like fairies or whatever the child's imagination wants, but you basically do the same thing. And today I'm using um, cause I have a, a pottery studio that I work in here in Killarney in, um, in Ireland and I teach children all the time and they come to my classes. So this right here I'm showing you is one of what one of my students had made. And this would have been a eight year old, I think that made this. So, um, this is just an example of what your children can do. And, um, so I'm going to show you the techniques and everything and, if you don't have access to a kiln and you don't have access to get it fired, maybe you could also just use some air dry clay and use the same techniques that I show you today because those techniques will work with air dry clay or with kiln fired clay. And then all you do is you just wait for it to dry naturally and then you can paint it with acrylic paints afterwards. I would do acrylic paints and then do like a sealer on it and um, so that's the way you can finish it off. And I just wanted to take a minute before we get going and before I start teaching, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you the benefits of working with clay and the benefits for your children. Um, not only does it help with the fine motor skills for your child, but it also helps them explore their creativity and it's a really fun way. Kids love clay. They love to work with clay. They love Play-Doh. They love all that kind of stuff. And also, it can be very calming to work with clay, to work with it. If you have a child that's autistic or a child that um, is um, ADHD or any of those things that are very fidgety and it's hard for them to like sit down and, and do something for long periods of time, Getting them working with clay is very grounding because clay comes from the earth. And so therefore, it's just like when you're working with clay, it's like going outside and putting your feet into the ground. It's like going outside and hugging a tree. It's the same type of thing. So in the future, if you want to help get your child grounded and it's not the type of weather that you can go outside, pull out some clay and let them just play and um, it'll help them. So I just wanted to let you know those little things before we get started. And now I'm going to go on with the teaching part. And I hope that your children enjoy every minute of this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get a piece of clay to make the base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this clay down on a board. And what I use is I use a board that has a, a towel, a, like a tea towel on it. Um, so that the clay won't stick to it, but then it's still like, if you use plastic or you use wood or anything like that, it'll, the clay will stick and you won't be able to pick it back up again. So I use that. And then what I do is I take a rolling pin and I just roll this out so that it's flat. And then what we're going to do, this is going to be the bottom of the castle. And so then I'm going to take, I have, so you find something round, you can find a bowl or something. I use this, it's like a, just a cookie cutter thing that I had. And I'm just going to go down around here and I'm going to cut out a circle. And then I'm, you end up having a circle to start out with. So this is the base of the, of the, of the castle. And so... Now I'm just going to move this out of the way because we don't need it and I'm going to bring this over so that I, you can see what I'm doing when I'm working on it. Now I have this, uh, I have a little shelf and then I have this on a turntable and then I also build it on top of a little plate that has plastic on it so that you can separate that and so this way you can pick up your project and move it and take it with you. So I'm going to set that onto there. And then I'm gonna sit down and get myself cozy. And so I'm just going to start building this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get something sharp and you need to go around the edges and you need to score the edges of the castle, like so. 
and you can use anything. I'm using a sharp tool um, for children that are very young. You would like, well, not use a, such a sharp tool. You can use a plastic tool for that. And then you take, this is what I've made up ahead of time. It's called slip and the kids call it goop when they come to my classes. And um, this is just a, a paste that's made out of the clay. It's like a watered down paste of clay. And this is the glue that sticks everything together. So I don't know if you've ever used clay before, but when it starts to dry out, it starts falling apart. So if you don't use this glue, it will end up falling apart, especially in the, um, it, for air dry clay. And also if you're doing it and you're putting it in the kiln, if you don't put the goop on in between everything that you attach, everything will just fall apart and it'll be all like a whole bunch of separate pieces. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna get some goop on my finger and I'm gonna go around the edge of here for the first layer. And I'm just gonna make sure I have some on the edge so when we start attaching the, the stone part of the, so we're gonna make little stones out of the, out of the clay. So when we start attaching that, I don't know what I did with my towel. I guess I'll just wipe it on my apron. <laughs> okay, so it's always good to have a towel around when you're working with clay. So that's the goop. And um, so then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take bunches of clay and we're gonna take them and we're gonna make them into balls. Like, and they don't have to be perfect. And then you stick them on. And then on the inside, you push, you push down the inside so that it's attached to the inside see like this and so i'll go and i'll do the first layer and then i'll show you what it looks like when you attach so you don't have to worry about attaching the outside because you want it to look like stones and you don't want it to be smooth together so you just keep pushing it down as you go and i'm just going to keep going and you want to kind of have your clay kind of the balls to be around the same size so that you don't have some really small ones and large ones so that you have your row going and we build all the way around we don't worry about the doors and the windows yet we're just gonna build up all the way up to the top now today I'm going to make probably a little bit shorter castle just because we don't have time to make a longer a, a taller one and when I make these in my classes, it usually, they come for an hour each time. And it takes about eight weeks for the kids to actually finish their castles. So, um, just wanted you to know that, that this is kind of sped up because of the video today. And I will be doing different times when I will be speeding up the camera as I'm building it so that you can watch how it goes. But this is the basic technique you get it all down in here and so you've got your first layer on like this and so it'll kind of look something like that and um, and then what I do is the first layer I end up coming in here and I smooth it out like this and I just smooth the inside okay and so then when it's time to do the next layer what we want to do is see how the balls are located and you, you, there's like a space between the ball. We want the next the next one to go in between the two so that it looks like it's staggered because if you go all the way on top, it'll end up not looking right at all. So this time I've got the, see because I'm left handed so I will be working with the goop over here but I'll show you in the camera. So then you just stick this into here and you have a little bit of the, the glue and then you stick it onto a piece and you want to every time go like this on the inside. So you want to attach it every single time. So we've got another one. I'm going to stick it into here, put it onto here and then we're just going to go like this as we go along. And then we just keep going. And so you're going in between the stones. See, I'm going in between, so I'm staggering them. And 
So you just keep building away right on top of the other spot. And don't worry if the, they're all different sizes because stones on a castle are never the same size. If you go to an old castle, you'll, you'll see that it's just whatever stones that they had, whatever sizes, and they fit them together like a puzzle. So, and then you just keep building up as you go. Sometimes it can get a little bit goopy. If you get too much, if you use too much of it, you'll know because your hands will be covered in it or your child's hands will be covered in it. And the younger children need a little bit more help than the older ones doing this. It's a fairly easy technique. And so this is what you do all the way up till you get up to the top. And then I will come back after for the talking part and I'll just put some music on for now while we build. We'll have some build music on in the background.
Okay, so now we're going to make the roof for the castle. And I've decided to go with a flat roof, just like um, the one that I showed you at the beginning. I'm gonna put that just like the flat roof that's on top of that. And so I'm gonna roll this out. So you just roll a little bit of clay out onto a board. And then we just use our thing that we used at the beginning for the bottom. That's going to be for the top. And then we take a fork, just like what you have in your kitchen, and you're going to just kind of go like this to make it like a nest, like a because we're going to put an egg on top of this. And so just scratch it all up. And just make it look like it's a nest. Okay. So then we're going to take this and we are going to bring the castle back and what we need to do is we need just to put the roof onto the castle so in order to put the roof on the castle we need to scratch all of the balls that are on the outside edge like on the top and so we scratch them and then we take some of the slip and some of the goop and we put it on the top just like so. That way when we put our roof on it will stick to the top. And so there's your roof. And this is going to be, the roof is just a nest for a dragon's egg. And I have made a dragon egg up ahead of time. So I'm going to do, the next thing we're going to do is the dragon egg. Okay, so we have our roof and we're going to put the dragon egg. When people come to my classes, I make these dragon eggs up ahead of time. And they're basically hollow and the kids love to to use them to make like dragons being born out of them and everything so there's always a hole in the bottom because they're hollow and so if you want you can actually make an egg by just forming something like this or for, for, for demonstrations purposes today I'm just going to put the egg up and so all we need to do is decide where we want the egg to go and I'm gonna just kind of put this in here like that okay and so all you do is you scratch the side of the egg where it's going to be going, just like this, nice and scratched. And then you take some of the slip and you put a huge amount on. And then you set it into your roof, just like that. And it should stay. So that's how we do the egg part. And now I'm going to make the window. So we're going to cut the window out. And so that's the next thing that we will do is we're going to cut a window up here at the top and then I'm going to cut a doorway down here at the bottom. So first I'm going to cut the window because I've got the camera going where I can do that. And so I'm going to cut an arch window. So this children, you might need help from your parents to do the cutting part because you have to use something sharp in order to use it. You can use a regular knife like in the kitchen as well. And so then you've got the window cut out just like that. So now there's a window and you can kind of smooth it around. And then um, now I'm going to turn the uh, camera and we'll put the door on. Okay, so now we're going to cut out the doorway, which is at the bottom of the castle. 
And so you're just cutting out, I like arch doorways for castles. I'm just gonna cut this out and cut it out from the bottom. You kinda have to stick your fingers in sometimes to get it out. And so there's the doorway. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make a door way surround for the outside of it. So just take some of this clay and roll it in your hands first like a, like a hot dog, right? Or a sausage. And then we take it on the, on the table and we want to just roll it on the table until we have a long thing to go around. And then we take this and we're gonna put this around the outside edge of the, of the doorway. And we'll put one up on the top as well, around the window.
So now we have the finished product. We have a dragon castle that we created and um, this is made out of clay that needs to go into a kiln and get fired and that means that it has to go into this big hot oven and it'll take about 24 hours for it to fire and then once it comes back out it's all ready to paint and then you can paint it with acrylics. If you um, are making this out of air dry clay then what you need to do is you need to you need to um, follow the directions of air dry clay which means that you just need to leave it dry for about two to three weeks and when it's fully dry then you just go ask your moms and dads to get you some acrylic paint and you can paint it all up really nicely and if you enjoyed this video I'm going to be doing more of these on my own YouTube channel and the YouTube channel is called Clay Fun C L A Y F U N dot I E and if you come over to my YouTube channel and you look up the Clay Fun that's the website I think and it's just called Clay Fun in the um, in the YouTube I will be putting up more videos on how to make things out of clay so have your moms and dads go over and check out the YouTube channel called Clay Fun. And thank you for joining me today.